What's up, tennis peeps? Does Brian Battistone have the strangest tennis serve in pro tennis? Well, yes and no. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Brian's serve. We're also gonna show you why maybe you'd be better off serving more like Brian than you are now. Ah! Before we get started with the analysis, if this isn't your first time here, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you end up liking the video, please like the video. And as always, comment below with any questions you have. And I'd also like to hear if you think someone has a stranger serve in pro tennis than Brian Battistone. Okay, let's take a look at Brian's serve here real quick. We're gonna look at some things that are very unique and unorthodox, and then we're gonna look at some things that uh, maybe aren't so much different from what we see a lot of good servers do and a lot of pros do. Uh, starting with, obviously, the racket, which isn't related to the serve, but that's kind of an interesting story in itself. Um, there's a good uh, video that I'm gonna put in the description where he talks a lot about why they feel that that racket benefits them. Uh, you know, I don't know how, you know, or what process it has, it has to go through to get approved. I heard someone say once that it was a medical thing, but uh, honestly, you know, polyester strings being approved is crazy enough to me, so I don't see why anything couldn't get passed. But um, other than the racket, here's something interesting. He, he tosses the ball with his right hand, and then he actually switches the racket into his right hand as well. So he hits the ball with the same hand that he tosses with. Um, so it's kind of a quick switch over there. Uh, so that's interesting. Again, I don't know the exact purpose of that. Again, maybe it is a medical thing, um, so I'm not gonna obviously pick on it, but um, and it doesn't seem to affect the serve too much. Um, I wouldn't really have a, an opinion on how it negatively affects the serve, but other than just, you know, adding a variable, but one thing that, in my opinion, might possibly have a negative effect on his serve is this big step out at the beginning of his motion um, and this very high jump in the air. So when you ask people, um, I, I, actually not the step out so much, but just the jump. The, the step out's just unique. So you see he gets that big right step into the court. Um, now if he was to adjust that back leg, it would actually be illegal because you could only take one step before you hit. But he takes that big giant step out and then definitely jumps to hit his serve and it's funny I get asked that question a lot should I jump to hit my serve and, and I always say well no you you should hit your serve so hard that the force of the, the swing pulls you off the ground and that's why you know when you see pros warm up you won't really see him leave the ground but that is not what Brian Battistone's doing Brian Battistone is certainly jumping to hit his serve and you know theoretically or not theoretically um, power, a large portion of your power is generated from a ground reaction force initiating the body segment. So really he should be losing some power from that jump. And the height advantage, um, really non-existent, really, because we see pros this far off the ground all the time when they, when they hit serves, again, from the forces pulling them off the ground. So I don't even know if he's getting a, a height advantage on it, but, and I think it would be fatiguing. I, I, and I even saw that in this match where it looked like after a while, um, if he, he, his energy got down a little bit and he just didn't have as much jump in him and it just seemed like it would it, it wore him out a little bit. And I could be wrong about that, but um, it's certainly unique. It's certainly something to watch. And hey, anything that gets people watching tennis more is, is fine in my book. But um, so that's those are things that are unique. Switching hands, tossing with the same hand that he hits with, a very unique racket, a big step out, and then getting a lot of air to hit the ball. But I think more importantly, what's not so unique about Brian's serve? That's what I'm more interested in. And I think you'll see here, um, fundamentals, you know? You have court dimensions, you have physical laws, and you have to obey them. So what does he do that we see all good high-level servers do? And that's gonna start with the grip on that double-sided racket. You can see here, you can see it better from this top view here. You can definitely see he's on a continental grip or very close to it. And that's going to bring his racket in that kind of hair brushing position um, where it's kind of passing over his head. Not completely brushing the hair, but definitely still palm down, I would say. And then he's going to get this wrong side of the racket coming around to the ball, something we see from all pros, like they're going to chop it in half. And then in inevitably he's going to have to pronate to the hit. So we see the arm turn out. So continental grip, brush your hair, throw the wrong side out, and turn to the hit. 
And then also I th something we see commonly from, from good servers is if you watch his left arm here, you'll watch how it kind of tucks into his body when he hits. Um, and that's going to serve as a reactive break. It's going to help the right side go faster and also keep his body up and, and at a 45 degree angle while hitting. So his body's kind of over angled towards the racket. So that's why I say if you uh, jumped in the air but you used a continental grip, kept your palm down, threw the wrong side around, pronated and tucked the left arm in, you'd still have a pretty good serve because I very rarely see people do those very crucial fundamentals. Um, so it's not so different after all. Maybe you know someone that does, doesn't do these fundamentals. Do you know anyone on the tour? Who's furthest from continental grip? Who's the furthest from solid fundamentals? Or just anyone you think has a unique serve on the tour? I'd love to hear it down in the description. Also, let me know your opinion, sorry, in the comments. Let me know your opinion on that double-sided racket. What do you think? Do you think it can give an advantage or not? Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.